You feel great. You feel great about the year. Um, you know, super thankful for the people in this building. Uh, took it really far this year and made a lot of people believe. So many people reached out about the joy that we brought to the city and kind of got the franchise believing again and kind of got that Eddie George era back in the air of um, the Titans are for real. The Titans are contenders. Um, the Titans have guys that know what they're doing up top and players that care and got the right players in the building that play the right way and play as physical and hardcore as you can play with these modern day rules and bring a smash mouth brand of football uh, to the South, which I think is a great reflection of, uh, of the area that we live in. So how much did Kerry do for you and how much will you miss him if you're back? Yeah, first I'm super excited for him and his opportunity. Uh, I think it's, you know, it was best. He said it's best for him and his family. He just didn't get to see his wife a lot. And I, I mean, these coaches are crazy the amount of hours they work. Um, so happy for him. And, I commend them to come in a room that had all pros, pro bowlers, Super Bowl champions. Um, it was hard to coach me, KB, Malcolm, and I know people think it's easy, but I mean, we got, we got some, you know, some, some guys who've done it before and he might come up with a defense. And I said, that ain't gonna work, coach. I've done this, you know, in two Super Bowls, that's no way it's gonna work. And, uh, um, you know, to kind of work with us and our veteran group that we had and our stubbornness, but we, he helped us build a brotherhood. He helped us be a part of MMCMB. He's the first one to say it. We patented it. And uh, he just came in from a college coach to come into the big leagues. And uh, he's a great motivator, a great leader of men. And that's exactly what he brought. He brought a fun group, a brotherhood to us that uh, we'll always remember. Did that defense work once in a while, the one you told him wasn't going to work? <laughs> he probably got it from Dean. But yeah, it worked. It, it, they, they worked out most of the time. How much were you missing, Morgan, before you kind of went on a pretty good running field? How much were you missing him on a personal level? Yeah, man, he's a. Uh, I mean, we had a special talk in there, man. I think that I was a um, special player for him. I think he was a special coach for me. Just a lot of hats off, like I said, for him to come in the room that we had that was somewhat established. And we liked the Shea a lot, our former coach. We liked the Shea a ton. And for him to come in and kind of win the room over the way he did and for us to work for him, um, my hat's off to him, man. He worked his butt off every single day, and he deserves to be the D.C. at Ohio State. And obviously that's a hard gig to get. So um, I'm happy for him. He deserves it. They're getting a good one. What do you feel like the Future holds for you. You hoping to be back here? I mean, if I could, uh, if I could foresee the future, then I would just start betting on games like they did in Back to the Future, you know. But I can't. I don't think anybody knows that. So, uh, you know, I think um, spoke with John and stuff, and he doesn't even know that. I think everybody right now was so locked in and trying to win games. And uh, I kid you not, all I wanted to do was pour my heart and soul into this franchise. I wanted to make it a better place. <laughs> If I were to leave, I wanted to make a better place when I came in, and I felt like I did that. And I signed up for three years, and uh, that's what the Titans offered me. I took it. I moved my family down here. I gave them three years, played in every game I could possibly could, um, played every snap with my heart and soul. And uh, right now I'm looking for a job. So uh, hopefully, you know, if they can extend it and work something out, that would be great. Um, but as of right now, that's what my contract was, and I fulfilled my end of the, of the bargain, and they did as well. And, we were, able, we were able to have a great run this year. Is there some anxiety, Logan, and in, in going into? I know you've been through it before, but is there uncertainty and so forth? Is that a tough, tough way to go into the off season? I don't want to live with anxiety. There's uncertainty in life with everything. So no, I mean, like I said, I signed up for that, and uh, I fulfilled that. I'm, I'm happy to play over 1,200 snaps this year, um, to have the year I had, the year we had as a team, to just be so happy to be here, and uh, that's all I could have asked for. I just, when this day was going to come. Regardless, and I'm happy it came after the AFC Championship. I wish it would have came after the Super Bowl, but I mean, it wasn't for a lack of trying. So this day was going to come. These questions are going to come, and I think it was a great marriage for both sides for me coming here. And I told them I was happy that they believed in me and allowed me to expand my role, um, leaving New England and allowed me to grow as a player and a leader. And I feel like I was able to do that here. Uh, he started every meeting going like this, and he said he wakes up at like 5 a.m. and just like smacks his hands and says it's a great day to be alive. And, and it's something you see in movies, but I mean, he probably wakes up and does, and he drinks 20 cups of coffee every day. So he, I saw him drink coffee in the sauna one time. I didn't know how he didn't pass out. So, I mean, I mean, the dude is a ball of energy. It's legit. I mean, stories that I can tell, I can make a movie about it. I mean, that was him. And uh, you saw it every day from the first week he got here, the screaming, the yelling and stuff like that. We got him to calm down a little bit in that end, but he still was drinking 20 cups of coffee a day in the sauna. So he had, still had a lot of energy. And he's still a, he's still a tough little guy, so um, he he lifts six days a week, so and stays the same size. So you know what, I, I got 
my hat's off to him, man. I love that guy. Perfect fit for the <laughs> He can recruit. He can recruit. If he called me, I probably would have went there. I wasn't good enough for him to call me back then. But uh, if, he, if he calls you and he wants you, he's probably going to be able to recruit you.